Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today to see my new design. I have made a totally customizable, make it any size you want, hook holder because I get so many hooks that don't come in a case or a box or my box got squished or anything like that. So I've designed this to be any size you want it to be. It's really easy. It's a four row repeat. And we're going to have a super fun time doing this and it's, it's really really simple i try to make everything as easy as i possibly can so even a beginner can make something like this and go oh look at what i made and be so excited i made this little guy to hold it close but i think going forward i would just use a ribbon and tie it tie it nice and tight this is end up stretched a little bit and eh. I used uh, Deborah Norville's, like this is a soft green here, and this is the cream. Let's see how this unrolls. Isn't that nice? I made these ones especially for all of my prims. The box that they came in, I, one of them got squished and it made me kind of sad. One of the corners is all squished in. So I just decided to make them a cute little case that I can roll up and take with me. And for this project, I'm using Deborah Norville, and this one's like baby pink, I think. And it is a four weight, but I use a four millimeter hook, so I get nice tight stitches. See, it has a holder right up here and a little pouch down here, and these are great. I'm going to use my four millimeter prim, since I made these just for my prims. See, there's my four millimeters right here. I love my prims. But let's get this guy started. Alright, so start out with the slip knot and chain 30. 29 and 30. So this is for making this exact size. If you wanted to make it a little bit longer, you can just adjust your chain a little bit. But this is going to be this size. Same size as this holds my prims very nicely. So down our chain, we want to single crochet all the way back down in every chain so we'll end up with 29 single crochets all the way back down to your very first tail there's 28 and there's my last one is number 29 there we go same length. There's row one. We chain 30 and then single crochet all the way down. 29. And we're going to make one more row of single crochets. So chain one, turn your work. And 29 single crochets all the way down again. I told you this was easy. Very beginner friendly. And totally customizable. You can make this as big or as small as you want. 28 and there's my last stitch, 29. Two rows of single crochet, easy, 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 easy peasy. Alright, so now we're going to do row three, chain one and turn our work. And the first first 23 are going to get a single crochet. Single crochet 23 and we change it up a little bit. And 23. All right, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches left, which is perfect. So on these six, we want to work in the back loop only, not through the whole stitch, just the back loop right here and single crochet all six of those one in the same way back loop only two three four five and six so now we have one two three four five six unused loops we didn't we did not work these yet so we're going to turn our work and we're going to work these six again with single crochets one two three four five so there's number six right there single crochet the other side of that loop one the unworked loop two three 
three, four, five, and six. So what we're starting right here is this little lip along the bottom just to keep things from falling out because they're nice and secure up here and they'd be secure down here so when you carry your little pouch nothing falls out so we chain one and turn again and we're going to work these six that we just did with single crochets also one two and six and we're turning the corner and we're going to work all the way back up again. So there's the last six, or the first six that we did. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can see our pouch is getting a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. And we're going to single crochet all the way down. So that was six on one side, six on the other. So there's 12 plus these 23. So that equals 35. Four and there's 35, my last stitch. And you can see now we've got our little pouch started for the bottom of this. And that was round four, or row four, I guess. Kind of go around a little bit, but I'll call it row four. Now we're going to start our four row sequence for every one of these little areas right here. So you can customize this any way you want to, to make as many hook holders as you want. So we're going to start, we're right about here. So I'll leave that so you can see it a little bit of what we're going to be doing. Hit chain one turn our work and the first six we're just going to single crochet again super simple one two and six and in the next three we want to work the back loop only with a single crochet so go to the back loop again not the whole stitch but the back loop one two and three and if you want to because sometimes it is easier you can throw a stitch marker in here on the first and the third just so you find them again depending on the yarn that you're using it they could kind of disappear a little bit we want to be able to find those in a little while so I just marked them I love my stitch markers and we're gonna single crochet all the way down again and around the corner of course because we're going to keep making our little pouch on the bottom bigger make it all the way to the end there we go we have our two or three loops hanging out waiting to be used next time and our pouch is a little bit bigger and that was round five all right now we're going to work around again around our corner is six the other side is six and then 14 more there's my first six around my little pouch Twelve. The other six made my pouch a little bit bigger. There's twelve, and now fourteen more. Total of twenty-six. So there's thirteen, twenty-five, and twenty-six. Now we've made it back to our loops. We want to use these loops now. We are going to do in each one of these loops. There's one, two, three. One, 
herringbone double crochet in each one. So that's a yarn over, go through the loop, pull through and pull straight through again through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop again, and yarn over and pull through two. So again, let's yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch under the first loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do that for all three. Makes a nice long double crochet stitch. Very nice. So we used all three of those now. We have six stitches left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those get single crochets. One, two, so there's our pouch, and this is the start of a hook holder right here. So it goes this way. We get another round to go here. This is round six, so chain one and turn your work. Single crochet the first six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is probably the only tricky part that there is in this whole project. Now I want to go through both sides. I want to go through this herringbone double crochet and the single crochet on the other side and close that up. So there we go. And single crochet through both stitches. One. And do that for all three of these to close this gap. And it helps a lot that I'm using really soft yarn here. Helps me find those stitches. If you have trouble finding your stitches, just use a marker so they're easy to grab. And a single crochet. So there there was closed up those three. You can take out these now. Don't need those in our work right now. So we did a single crochet times six up here and then closed off our herringbone double crochet and single crochets. Now we're going to single crochet again all the way down and around. And there's my last stitch, 26. So again with single crochet six and then we single crocheted this closed and then 26 single crochets to the very end. That's round seven, or row seven. Chain one, turn our work, and single crochet, single crochet everything. And there's my last single crochet in row eight. Okay, so you can see here our pouch is getting bigger. And right here is our first hook holder. So you can repeat rows five, six, seven, and eight as many times as you want. You could be done right now if you just have one special hook and we could finish it off. But I'm going to do one more of everything here really fast. So again, we're going to repeat row five, which was six single crochets just so you can see that part one more time. Four, five, and six. And the next three be back loop only. One, two, three. Single crochets in those three back loop only. Now I'm going to mark these unused front loops so they don't disappear on me because I'm going to need to use those in a minute and I love my markers. So 
So then we do 14 and 6 and 6, which is 26 total, all the way down to the end again, single crochets, all the way down and around our little pouch. And there's my last stitch. That would be row 9, which is a repeat of row 5. So yeah, you guessed it, chain one, turn our work, and repeat row six, which is single crochet around the corner. So six and six and 14, so that's 26. 26 single crochets. And 25 and 26. Now again, we want to work our, the unworked loops, they get their turn now. So one half double crochet in each. So that's a yarn over, pull through and slip stitch right underneath the first loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through two. And do that for all three of these unworked loops. And then six stitches left, one, all of them are single crochets. Three, four, five, and six. So we're half done with our repeat. Chain one, turn your work. This is a repeat of row seven. So we're going to single crochet six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we don't need these here anymore. Now we're going to close this up. See this little pouch open right here? We want to close it up. So single crochet through both sides. There's a single crochet through both sides once. And again, you can mark those little stitches if you wanted to so they're easier to catch. They're easier to find. I'm using nice soft yarn so it's actually pretty easy to find them. This last one can be a little bit sneaky sometimes. So there we go. And now all the rest, all the way down and around, down towards our little pouch, are all single crochets. So simple. 25 and 26. And that was a repeat of row seven. And now our last round, or our last row, of our repeat is single crochet all the way down, all the way around and back to the beginning. And there is my last stitch. And that was round a repeat of round eight. So we repeat five, six, seven, and eight as many times as you want for as many hooks as you wish to hold. I've made two in this one. I made ten in this one to hold my prims on purpose. So now after you do as many as you want, you really could make this 20 if you wanted. You could make it as big as you want to. So how we finish off when you have enough hook spaces, this is how you finish. So you do five through eight as many times as you wish and then we are going to chain one and turn our work and we are going to single crochet 23, 22, and 23. Now you have 12 stitches left. We want to close our little pouch here so we're really only going to work six. We're going to work through this side and through that side to close up that side so it closes up like this one. So we'll end up only working six stitches instead of 12 because we're going to use both sides. 
also come through the front one right here one and through the next stitch on the other side so we're through two stitches and a single crochet and do that five more times to close up all six of these stitches and close them together and there's my last one so now my pouch is closed we're almost done chain one turn your work single crochet all the way down which is 29 stitches 29 single crochets and here's my last stitch pouch is closed now very pretty symmetrical and you just push like this and right in here you're going in between those single crochets and the half double or in the herringbone double crochets and you roll them up wrap them when whatever you want so if you wanted to you can put an edging on this I think it looks nice the way it is and I also made a little strap for this but I found that it's getting a little bit too stretched out what I did here was just a chain 30 and I did a herringbone double crochet for 29 twice so two rounds of that and then I sewed on a button but it's getting stretched out a little bit so I think that I will just use some ribbon this one will stick around but then you just roll this up tie it with the ribbon or with whatever you have see how stretchy it got I don't like it I didn't like it being stretchy but there you go that's all you need to do so thanks for stopping by thank you for supporting my small business please subscribe to Thimble Hooks tell all your friends about me and stop back soon because I've got some great stuff coming up thanks bye Thank you.